What's up you guys? Thank you so much for the support, especially to our Indian friends who direct message me on Facebook. If you are new, please do yourself a favor, subscribe and follow our Facebook page. And I really love it when you direct message me asking for assistance in troubleshooting your printer or computer. So today I'm gonna show you how to disassemble an Epson L120. Okay, as we continue this assembly, this Epson L120 for the part 4, I am going to show you how to replace the sensor strip. Supposed to be this is part of the replacing the printer belt because they are just adjacent parts. But I choose to make a separate video because I want to I want you to focus on the importance of the sensor strip. In my experience, a little mishandling of the sensor strip causes the printer to be defective its own okay so I don't have to explain on how to open this cover if you wanted the step-by-step -step procedure and opening the cover you can refer to my part one of this assembly an Epson L120 I made uh, the step by step uh, how to open this L120. So the same process when we are placing the printer belt, we're going to remove this metal. So we have to unscrew it, one two, and the screw here. And the screw here. Our main goal is to raise this metal and slide this carriage and we can see the sensor strip and the printer belt. And be careful when removing when removing the screw for the roller sensor. This can cause a different problem. Okay, this is a small screw. screw. After which, we remove this assembly for the belt, the spring, and this one. Then detach the spring for the sensor strip. By the way, the sensor the sensor strip is located here this transparent plastic is the sensor strip do not dance do not scratch or do not touch it by bare hands so once again uh, i will remind you that this printer is only for demonstration do not do this do not help your, your printer at almost 90 degrees especially when your client is watching while you are doing the repairs so we continue we remove the screw here this is the same step when replacing a printer belt oops let, let me see if we can raise the metal okay it is raised and for the flex cables or data cables right here unlock it okay oops slowly not to touch the sensor strip you might damage it and raise the metal and pull out the carriage oh Oh my, sorry. Raise the metal and there you can see. Oops. 
here. Oops, do not touch your printer head. You can see here the where the printer belt is locked. So this is only for demonstration. I am touching the sensor strip, but for you, do not touch it. Supposed to be the sensor strip is located here. Okay. So if ever there are problems with paper jam, you clean the sensor strip. Or if there are problems by with alignment of the letters. And if the printer head is already clean, then you may clean the sensor here. Okay. If there are scenes or steps that, that are unclear to you, you may refer to my part 3 of the tutorial as we remove the printer belt because they are we are going we are doing the same process in removing the printer belt. <clears throat> it's the same thing as uh, lifting the carriage, they are just adjacent parts, so it's the same process and you may refer to some important steps that you missed in this video. I am then showing you how to remove or replace the sensor strip or the encoder strip, others call that one as an encoder strip, but whatever terms you are comfortable using with, then you, you are free to use. One important thing that you must know in handling in the sensor strip is to not scratch it, do not uh, put your fingerprints on it because it might cause paper jam and it can cause a headache in troubleshooting your printer. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.